Today, you'll learn how to paint a fabric chair while still keeping it soft. Using latex house paint, you'll only need two colors, a caramel color and a chocolate brown color. Fabric softener, two to three mixing trays, one medium and small paintbrush, and sandpaper or a sanding block. Start by dampening your fabric all over and as needed. Measure out three fourths of a cup of your lighter paint and no, you do not need to mix the darker color yet. That will be the last step. You'll need two fourths of a cup of fabric softener. It's hard and weird to mix, but this method definitely works. And lastly, we'll need a tray of water. I found that the best method is dipping my brush in the water and then to the paint. This will help the paint spread and avoid causing a crunchy finish once dry. This diagram shows which section you should begin painting. Your paint will drip. So with this order, it will allow you to catch these mistakes before they dry and frustrate you. If you're excited to complete this project, paint your first layer, wait six hours for it to dry, sand the surface, and then paint the second layer and let that sit overnight. If you try to sand while it's almost dry, you will clog the pores of your sandpaper, so wait till it's fully dry before sanding. I recommend three coats of your light colored paint for strength and durability. Be sure that you're painting all the cracks and crevices that will show when you sit in the chair. This task will be harder for those with cushions that cannot be removed, so just do the best that you can do. Now that we have painted and sanded between our three coats, it's time to blend. Mix 3 fourths of a cup of dark paint with 2 fourths of a cup of fabric softener. Instead of dipping your brush in the water, you'll just spray the surface right before you start painting. You'll select the same light caramel color and paint a circle in the center of your section and layer on a few coats to ensure it will blend. Then apply the darker color around the edges of that section meeting your lighter color. Then blend it out until a circular motion. Avoid jumping from one color to the next as you blend. Try moving the brush as the colors blend to get you to the next section. Take note that you have to blend this out to a T. If you do not blend it, it will look exactly how you painted it. And your mind will tell you that this patch is going to even out when it dries. No, it's not. If you don't blend it, you will see it. And take your time. Be in no rush. After the blending is complete, let it dry for the whole day. Come back and gently sand it and it's ready for use. And let me tell you that the texture of this chair is perfect. Even when smushed down, it reverts right back. You now have a beautiful faux leather chair that you can brag about. If this video has helped you in any way, be sure to give me a big thumbs up. Make sure you share it with your family and friends. If you have not subscribed already, be sure to do so. If you have any questions about the products, techniques, and anything in between this subject matter, drop your questions down in the comment section and I will be sure to have an answer for you. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. And...